Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be doing a Patreon request and that is for Kyla LaGrange and her album While Your Heart's Still Beating. I have no idea what this artist is all about or what her sound is. Um, I have one little message though from the Patreon and they just said to summarise the album um, because they did summarise it before, but I have forgotten. So I'm really glad that they did that this morning. They said, Kyla LaGrange is an English sing singer and her album, While Your Heart's Still Be Beating, which she produced herself without being signed under a label, is about the tension between youth and adulthood and wanting to have lived a good life to make the best out of the, her, the time we are given, which to me just sounds like something that I'm very interested in. Okay, then he said... She describes her music as gloom pop. Sound-wise, I would group her with Aurora, Florence, and Iona Lee. Maybe. If you want, the songs Nurture, Set You Free, and Neverland have music videos. My favourite song of the album is probably We Were We Ever. Okay, so that's cool. Um, For the music video thing, I've been kind of thinking in and out. Like, I do want to, but it makes it... If, you know, the Patreon wanted me to put it on YouTube, I'm not too sure how it'll go with the music video situation so what I might do is um yeah for Patreon I'll do a version where I watch a music video the only other thing with music videos is sometimes I can't um concentrate on the sound as much but I'll do my best <laughs> um this Patreon knows me well anyway so um it might add to it as well, so maybe I should. But yeah, for Patreon, I'll have the music video up, but I'll take it away when I, if if you want me to make a YouTube version. But anyway, let's get into it. A bit of gloom pop. I'm ready. Also, my makeup today is kind of... I personally just really like greens, golds, and purples together because I find it to be very, like, enchanting. Very, like, um foresty you know enchanted forest feelings they are my favorite color combination to put together so I thought why not do my favorite today um yeah I always like to show off the makeup <laughs> but yeah let's do it so the first song is Neverland which does have a music video and if this does go on YouTube if you'd like to become a patron please do you'll be able to see this video uncut and you'll be able to see all my videos uncut and early access too I'm doing I've doing a new way now I'm doing like a week where I do lots of Patreon requests and just upload them straight to Patreon and then I do YouTube edits the next week I think that's gonna work out best for me um for sure but uh uh yeah if you'd like to join please do live streams too um I'm not sure when the next one will be yet but uh it's on zoom so yeah uh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, it will be on Zoom because more people have turned up recently. So I've been looking into all of how to do it and so on. Um, but yeah, uh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, I shall follow you back. Like and subscribe and comment because I love reading your comments. Okay, anyway, let's do it. First song is called Neverland and I'll get the video up. Alrighty, let's go. Looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Also, the video is like here or here and I'm looking down. Just know I'm looking at the video, it just might not match up. But I don't want to move my camera around, so. <laughs> wow. This girl looks cool. Love the pink hair. And what the hell, those eyelashes? If this is the last I'll see of you Then I wanna laugh till my face is hiding But I'm still staring in the mirror Okay, I'm going to pause it, but, oh, so, actually, I was wondering if the lyrics would be cryptic, um, you know, maybe metaphoric, but actually they're pretty straightforward, they're very, she's just saying exactly what she thinks and feels, they are open and they are not cryptic, and I think that's, like, really nice sometimes, because, like, it's so fun to analyse metaphoric lyrics, but sometimes it can be so metaphoric that you're like, oh, I don't know, I guess it means that, but this is just very straightforward, and um, emotional, and big 80s drums a little bit, 
um yeah got an 80s feel to it um uh, yeah it's emotional i love it Memories are fake. i like that this one will be phosphorus and still alive Got chills. To make decisions, just breathing in, hoping that I'm big enough. Oh, go on, hit me in the face when I am feeling sorry. Tell me what I should have done forever Bye. with all my friends. Oh, the in the mirror. This is so powerful. so much chills it's kind of sad so if you're watching on youtube i'll just very briefly describe uh, in the video she's got this pink wig these crazy sparkly eyelashes and uh she's like a party girl but then there's also her taking off the wig and it's her normal self in plaits kind of looking casual um but when she looks in the mirror it's still the girl with the pink hair and um and then it goes into the mirror and the girl with the pink hair is like partying all around the living room. But then it reflects back to the casual version of herself. And she kind of almost leaves the reflection to be like, goodbye, I have to leave you behind. And then the girl with the pink hair um, walks out the front door as if to be like, <clears throat> see you later. I'm going out clubbing while the casual version is going to bed. Um, <clears throat> basically... To me, that just seems like having to let go of that uh, party girl of yourself in yourself. And it's kind of sad to let go of her. But in some ways, you know, like everything, there's good and bad to everything. So it's fun to party. But at the same time, to do it all the time isn't good for you. You do kind of have to, I don't like using the word grow up, but you have to get sensible, um, uh, not just for like work and stuff like that, but for your health um and life in general but you, you don't ever have to lose that part of yourself it's all about balance and that's what I believe is balance like do your work do your sensibilities and then you know reward yourself with a big fun time where you can be that younger part of yourself and be wild but you know as the song is saying it's very much just like you know everyone is having kids growing up and I'm being told that I need to grow up but it, you know it's hard I don't know how to do that I, I don't want to even um I want to be in Neverland with all my friends I feel lucky that I've never quite been in that situation for me personally I I told myself I have to stop you know I had to tell myself like that's it now no one told me to stop I told myself to stop because I knew it was like not good for me uh, mentally and physically um but I can't imagine what it would be like the other way around where you don't want to stop, but you're being told to stop. Hmm. That's, I guess that's interesting to me. It's just like, it's interesting the different lives that we lead, right? And different experiences we go through and different personality types. Huh. Wow. Okay. That was really cool though. I'm really glad I watched the video now because I was all like, oh, what if I don't get into the song? But actually I, I felt like I got to see who she is got to see her vibe, her energy, what she's about. And um, now I'm more interested in what's to come. So yeah, I'm really glad. <laughs> that does happen sometimes. Okay, next song is called Something Special. And there isn't a music video to this. So let's go for it. Now it's gonna be interesting to hear something about a music video. <laughs> Oh, I also want to add, it's definitely very gloom pop. It's got that sad, but let's dance feeling. <laughs> Growing up slowly, I could hardly wait. Sorry, but I have to do it. Looking out a dirty old window. Come on, it sounded so much like that. <laughs> okay, I'll go back. Growing up slowly, I could hardly wait. Oh, and sorry, if you didn't know, the song I was referencing was Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And sorry, I just kind of threw that on you. I'm pretty sure you know, but you might not. 
Had a book in each hand, a heart hungry for praise. Make my fucking day. Wow. Tell me I'm funny. Make me feel okay. Need for validation and reassurance. I'm just a heartbeat in the that's really nice. The way it like went from while she said heartbeat and it has that sound of a heartbeat in a chest. And she's saying I'm heartbeat in the back seat so and it does feel kind of further away. It's really clever and really gorgeous. You just want to be something special, didn't you? Oh, it's kind of sad. You just I like, you know, every time she swears in it, you know, she goes, fucking this, you know, you can feel the anger, like a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of pain in it. And I think it really adds to it because it's not just, it's not being just sad. It's having a little bit of regret or just like self kind of deprecation. Uh, wow. Also, before I forget, because I thought it from the start as well, it also reminds me of Teen Idol by um, Marina and the Diamonds, because in that song, it's very much, I want to be, I want to be a teen, teen idol, you know, wanting to be popular, wanting to be amazing, but instead, she wasn't popular. She wasn't those things. And uh, I know it's different, but like in this song, it's like, give me praise, give me love. And in Marina and the Diamonds song, it's very much like, She's saying that I want this. I wanted to be loved. I wanted to be seen and heard. And it, it, it is kind of similar. I'm just a you just want to be something special, didn't you? Didn't you? Oh, didn't you? you? Want... That's so Aurora. That's beautiful. ending that was like really kind of random in a way because it all went on this like very good structure then the ending had just had this moody kind of dance moment oh wow I love that one as well that was really nice actually I think I think I might have liked the sound of it more than Neverland but obviously the Neverland video was awesome and maybe I because I could focus on the sound more I don't know they're on par, I think. Okay, next one is called Nurture, and I think this one does have a video, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna quickly run to the bathroom. Yeah, this is like really fun because like, I don't I don't feel like I've listened to something quite like this on the channel or on Patreon. And actually it's got a feeling to it that feels kind of, um, it's not too taxing on, on my energy. It's actually just kind of like, wow. Like, because it is relatively simple, like pop, the lyrics are relatively, well, they're very easy to understand, but they're still good. You know, she's rhyming words that are easy to rhyme, but the sentences and the lines she makes are very impactful. So there's something about this that I just feel like I'm gonna really like breeze through it in such a nice way. And I'm, I'm kind of glad for that today, you know. So yeah, especially after yesterday, I listened to Clarence Clarity, which was an insane, it was brilliant, but it was one of those ones that you just go, I don't know how to compute. This one makes me feel more relaxed. There's a lot to talk about in an easy, simple way. I just love the balance of that. I love doing crazy videos. I love doing simple videos. Do you know what I mean? It's nice to have like different ones. And this is one of those ones that just feels really like, ah, oh, like kind of peaceful. And in that gloom pop way where I could just be like, mm, yes. So yeah, I'm really happy to be doing this. Okay, so this, no. <laughs> Just saw my hair and was like, absolutely not. This always happens. This always bloody happens. 
I've cut my fringe in a silly way and now it's all silly every time I put headphones on. Fine, we'll just, I guess we'll just go with that. No one else cares but me, so I don't know why I even bother. <laughs> but anyway, let's do it. Kyla Lagrange, Nurture. On my fourth birthday, looking like a photograph, we were Ooh. And on my fourth birthday, looking like a photograph, her vo voice, oh, makes it sound younger and sweeter. And she's talking about her fourth birthday. This one's obviously meant to be kind of resemble part of childhood. Well, clearly. In the forest no. that I created in my head, I was a warrior at home in the wild. Could you stay a little longer? Please? Wow. Could you stay that a guitar. little longer? I love this one so much. I also just want to say, like, she is really beautiful, like, stunning. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit what the video is doing so far if this goes to YouTube. Not so far, after the video, I'll explain what's kind of going on if you haven't seen it. Gave me every part of him. My ribs were breaking with the weight of it, so I left. So well rehearsed at leaving bed. Oh, I'm all grown, moving to a new home. I've got so much With chills. A man my heart holds dearer than anyone. I'm gonna love him less with every step. Cause that's all that I've come to expect. Do you hear how mature her voice is now? From the start to now, this maturity. That is really clever. The months pass, I'm surprised to feel my heart getting bigger and better. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna last. cry. At last. Oh my god, that is such an intelligent song. Like, that's really intelligent pop moment. She literally started so sweet and then ended on this more deeper, mature tone. Okay, the video basically depicts her as a child and basically growing up. Each time she said a different age, she would grow up in the video. Um, and yeah, that's the best way to explain it, really. You should check it out if you haven't seen it, but I feel a bit emotional hearing it. Um, those lyrics and, oh, that bit at the end really just got me. I'm going to see if there's any more, like, information on the song, just because I'm interested. Oh, did make me feel really emotional. Not in a bad way, just like, oh my God. <laughs> and the way she's saying like, could you stay a little longer, please? Could you stay a little longer, please? And then she's saying, I left. I, I, oh, I don't know. This is why I'm curious. That's why I want to look into it. <sighs> okay, what has the artist said about the song? Nurture is the most personal song I've ever written, a storybook of relationships from childhood to adulthood. I nearly didn't record it because it made me cry too much, and I was scared to release it because it feels so raw and exposing, but something about write, the writing of it felt very necessary for me, like it was a way of paying tribute to certain things and then closing a the door on them, putting them to bed. Okay, so that's kind of what she said a little bit, but I, like, I just want to read that last verse and and then at 23, I asked someone to follow me in a cacophon into a cacophony of all the things I'd fled. And he was ready, gave me every part of him, but my ribs were breaking with the weight of it. And so I left. So well rehearsed and leaving beds by then. 
and now I'm all grown, moving to a new home with a man my heart holds dearer than anyone, and I'm a mess, so sure I'm going to love him less with every step, because that's all that I've come to expect. But as the months pass, I'm surprised to feel my heart getting bigger and better at last. Oh my god! My eyes just welling up as I'm reading it. Damn, I, no, I did think this would be a crying one. <laughs> okay, we will not be doing this. Not, not with this makeup. I love a song that turns around like that. That like goes, like, you know, this big story. I also understand it so much. A big story that kind of like, you know, goes and goes. It's all like these failures almost. And then suddenly this success. It's, a be it's inspirational. It's beautiful. It's wholesome. It's... That to me is always sadder than anything. Uh, but in like a happy way. Because it's so beautiful. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to move on because I'll be crying forever else. I'm trying not to cry, honestly. Right, now it is time for Were We Ever? And this is actually uh, the patron who requested this album. It's their favourite. So, pressure's on. No, I'm joking. But yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Ooh. Damn. The drums are amazing on this album. So nice. Like, each... Uh, so, you know, that... Boom, kick kind of feeling it has a very like a uh, whole feeling to it it's not weak at all it's got like a good like round ball <laughs> kind of feeling to it it's lovely on the pavement at the city park. oh it pans two young lovers walking past were we ever like that Wow, I like the vocal. If you ever held me right now. It's like high, but it's got that uh, cry tone in it, which I often talk about. But it's, a, it, it's impactful. That's why I talk about it so much, because it's used so much. And there's a good reason for it. It makes it emotional. If you ever held me right now. Obviously, that's a bit all OTT. But oh, it just makes it sound so emotional and so vulnerable. Wow, the arms just automatically have gone up. Sitting in the front room of her house. Wow, the panning is so interesting. Look at the screen Each line is on a different side. Where I was for <laughs> I can actually Joe, that's really bizarre. I had my eyes closed and I can actually see myself in this lit room, this purple and green lit room. And I think I you know, I looked at her um album cover and it's got the green lighting and then uh um little bits of pinky purple kind of uh colours in there as well and I thought oh, that's so weird that I've done my makeup kind of the similar colour is similar and then I closed my eyes and suddenly I could just see this room with purple and green lighting and um I was just in that room <laughs> felt like I was just like feeling it so much just like and I opened my eyes and I'm like oh yeah this is where I am I totally forgot it's like when you wake up from a dream but you're like no sorry it's like when you wake up in a place you're not familiar with and you're like oh that's so weird I thought I was gonna wake up at home but I'm somewhere else 
Anyway, um, I can see why that's a favourite. That is really beautiful. Really like the way that one rode out. Like, really liked that. I can imagine driving to that one as well. Mm. Okay. I think the next video, uh, next song has a video again. So, yeah, let's go for it. I think this is with the end of the videos. Yeah. Whew. Ah, this is lovely. The gloom pop genre, like, this, it is completely stapled to this. Kalia Lagrange definitely can take that as her genre because <laughs> this is like, this is such sad pop. I'm just literally there like, but then I'm like, oh yeah. I can't help it. It's like listening to Charlie XCX in a way. Um, different, but it's got that sad, I want to dance feeling. <laughs> nice. Okay, set you free. Oh my God, her looks are always so crazy and cool. Right, let's go. Kyla Lagrange, or is it Kyla Lagrange? Look at this outfit. Again, very Aurora with the outfit, for sure. Wow. I'd, I'd love to know if like some of the Aurora uh, fans like this as well, because I, I feel like they would, and I just want them to see it now, because I'm like, oh, this you probably really like her. It's so good. When I hold you, baby. Okay, I like that. Really nice. And I feel you hold me, baby. Very soulful, actually. Feels like this one's gonna erupt in some way. When I wake each morning. Oh my gosh. And I know we belong together. When we touch each other. Oh, that. I think that's called like. I always think like I tried making a wop wop <laughs> kind of sound in a song recently, and it's got like you have to mess with so much to make it unless you find a sound that already sounds like that. But it's a lot to do with like the cut off. Yeah, um, I can't exactly remember how I did it, but I remember looking into it and um, to make that wop 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 wop, you have to use like uh, the LFO, which is um, low frequency oscillator. When you manipulate that and then manipulate the cut off, which is another part of it, cut off basically cuts off certain frequencies and then using the LFO makes it like move. Gives it like modulation, I suppose. This might be really boring, but um, manipulating both those give it that wop 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 feeling. And it's not as simple as just picking a sound. You know, you can just pick a sound, but if you want it to be unique and you want to use, say, like a sound that goes, <laughs> not exactly that, and but it's only straight, but you want to give it a, you know, then you'd have to mess with the LFO and the cutoff. And it does just give it that. And how subtle it is in this song gives it that real warm, like, um, feeling. And with those big, like, <sighs> drums, the reverb makes it so ethereal and very dubstep oriented. It really does. It's like a dancey dubstep moment. And there's also more to it than that. But that's just a brief description of what I'm trying to say. If you did want to know the technical side, basically click on this uh, ES2, then you can choose a different bass sound, any really, that is a straight kind of tone. I went with hollow bass just because it sounds like this. Yeah, so that's a straight tone. And then I click on that bit <laughs> and I choose cut off two and then where it says envelope, I chose LFO2 and it makes that wobbly sound. Then you can manipulate it a little bit, change the rate and so on. Change the cut off, which is like how long it drags out, I guess. Yeah. I just really like that sound and I always have, like dubstep was really popular, um, you know, for some time about 10 years ago or something and it it was a good feeling and this has it and i and i like that so 
yeah, let's carry on. Free, my girl. Oh my god, this video is gorgeous. The lighting. Oh my god, I'm in love with her. Okay, so if you haven't seen the video, it starts off and she's in this kind of, you know, interesting garb. And like, she's got an IV and it has blue liquid in it. And she's got like black, kind of like, um, all, you know, black uh, pupil irises and her hair's all tied up. She's got earrings that are like tassels or, and are they earrings or they've attached the hair? I can't remember. But um, the first thing she does is pull out the IV and, uh, you know, starts walking and she's like, you know, kind of getting like, oh, you know, becoming a bit more free. And as she moves on, moves on, moves on, it feels like she gets freer. And then I, I looked away for a minute, but when I looked back, her hair was down and she was more like, oh, like, you know, free and then she gets to a lake and then she takes off this you know garb and then like gets in the water and looks behind her as if to be like I'm going in see ya <laughs> and then like the water's got like these beautiful sparkles in it and then she just dives in and it's like ah lovely freedom these videos are gorgeous I really enjoy the videos actually damn I wish I had the more views but at the same time I feel lucky that I'm one of the people that get you know I'm part of it part of being able to see this kind of artistry. She puts a lot of effort into it and you can see that wholeheartedly. Okay, amazing, I love that. Um, yeah, sorry about my big old wah, wah, wah production talk for a minute there, it was probably a bit boring, but <laughs> hopefully you got something from it. Right, next song is called Generations, no video. A delicate song and it weirdly really reminds me of um the song called colorblind by oh, what are they call black crows <laughs> i don't remember counting crows i think yeah like um start a shop and up time coffee black da, da, da. i am colorblind it has the same delicate feeling to it similar melody in some ways same key most possibly um definitely has that feeling and i think that's why i really like this actually it's uh not one i could listen to all the time just because it's so soft but i could definitely listen to it in a sad moment or a sleepy moment it's very um delicate that, that's the word i'm going with delicate you're in my blood that's so cool Literally, like, no matter how much I try to run, you're in my blood. That's what family is, you know, generations, whether you like it or not. You're more than the pieces of the ones you love. Yeah. You are. That high harmony literally could be Aurora, it sounds like her so much. You're more than the pieces of the ones you love and form. Wow. That one, to me, again had that like kind of sadness to start with and like you know can't run from the blood 
uh, you know, in my body that is the same blood as yours. <laughs> she didn't say that, but it's the same meaning. Um, and then at the end, it's like, but you're more than that. You're not just your generations. You are your start of a generation. You are new. You are still different. Um, again, turning things around to something quite positive. I love songs that do that. But that was a very gentle, sad, melancholy song, for sure. Um, one where the words were very, you know, were meant to be heard. It's a very lyrically, you know, forward song. Wow. Next song is called Lucky. Keeps reminding me of so many different songs. Every man is in his castle, and all our nights are crimson dreams. Wow, I like the way it's building. And I keep thinking, what a waste of life. You only get one right, and I go lucky, my God. These days are fading faster. Wow, that new it's very strange. It's almost like it doesn't quite fit, but it sounds really good. It's catching the ear. This one has such a feeling of, you know, you can actually see castles and kind of like, you know, that fan, like Witcher kind of um, era, <laughs> you know, fantasy sort of stuff. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is very Florence. Oh, I gave everything to it. Oh my. I gave everything. Shit, that might be my favourite. That might be my favourite. I don't know, I've loved so many. Set You Free was also amazing, but I feel like that one, that one did something to me, that shook me. I knew it was gonna amount to something like that as well. That big boom, boom. And it was simple. It didn't, it wasn't even clustered or anything. It's just, it was just intense. And that one definitely had a Florence feeling to it, as well as Aurora. I know I keep mentioning them now, but <laughs> since they've been mentioned, you know, by the Patreon, I'm like, now I'm just picking it up, picking up on it. And wow, that one was really powerful. Okay, next song is called Fury. I love this album. This is gorgeous. Oh, oh, got some out of space feelings. The thing that you don't know about me Is that I'm made of fury I'm bigger than a mountain Deeper than the sea You didn't see me flex My muscles Stretch my That 80s drum! kind of like a very like feminist song it's very it feels very like you know you think I'm small and you think I'm fragile but actually I am way bigger than that you know in fact I'm deeper than the sea and bigger than any mountain I literally stretched that far that's how 
you know, big and like um, in spirit and strength and fury that I am. And, you know, and my sisters are just like me. It's, it's a girl song for sure. Stronger than an earthquake, mm. louder than your fears. Wow. Louder than your fears? That I'm your little you'll be stiff all right but just not the way you like <laughs> did she say that or did i just hear that because i got a dirty mind if she did then that's fucking brilliant Show you what it's like to have I really thought it would say you better run again. I felt it would, or it should. See, as that one started, I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I was like, and then the beat picked up and I went, okay, it's okay. It's a lot brighter than the other songs. Like, and I was like, okay, it's kind of cute. It's not really my vibe. But as I started listening to lyrics, I was like, oh, hang on. It's very much about being strong and capable and, you know, like bigger than life and, better than you are thought to be and so the lyrics really started to like you know sink in and then as the lyrics sunk in the sound made more sense so I was like fuck it let go and be part of this sisterhood and be free and be like yeah like you know let that like big happy like uh vibe like sink in and and this is a song for the girls and yeah, I wanted to be part of that and it really actually helped, the lyrics really helped the production for me. And in some ways there was bits of it that was kind of cheesy in the production, um, but I kind of just like let that be. I, I, I liked it in the end. I was like, actually, I, I'm gonna hold on to that. And I feel like that's such a powerful song for a lot of young girls as well. Um, that was cool. I really liked that one actually. It really ch I really changed my mind about it if that makes sense, like, as I listened deeper. Oh, cool. Um, okay, this is the last song. Last song is Impossible Emotion. Hmm, okay. Mm. Oh my God, so many of the songs, like that just reminded me of come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. Not the melody, but like the, the sound textures. <laughs> it's so weird. So many of the songs remind me of old songs or other songs. So random. song there's so much room for call and response so much because she'll say a line and then there'll be a little bit of instrumental and then she'll say another line a little bit of instrumental and that gives you so much room to ad lib that's perfect for pop so that those two lines remind me of two songs I've written so yeah hurts obviously simple line everyone writes stuff like that but I've got a song that goes hurts, 
And then she says, I'm so used to it, but I'm used to it. And I have a song that goes. And it's about being used to, you know, depression and stuff. So that's so weird. That is so weird. Actually posted on one of my videos that used to it. Um, I'm so used to it. That one. Um, but you know, I'll have to find it somewhere. I'll probably link it actually on Patreon or whatever if you want to hear it. It's old and whatever, so not perfect. And the other one I haven't actually released because I really want to kind I don't know. I maybe I'll tighten it up a little bit and just release it as is because I'm not I'm trying to do that a bit more now, but yeah, I'll, I'll do that. song but I did like it I feel like it's one of those ones that might grow on me you know it's like it's the end song it's like you listen to the whole album that one comes on and you'd kind of happily sing along to it but it's not one that I'm like in love with but yeah it's cool um yeah okay well that's the album awesome right okay wow Right, so we started with Neverland and that one really set the sort of scene and like got me to see what she's like, who she is and I really liked, uh, I liked what I saw and heard. Something special was very cool as well, like it really, you know, talked about the um, feelings of insecurities, needing reassurance, whatever. Nurture, wasn't that the one that, yeah, that one, that one made me super fucking sad. <laughs> Then were we ever, that one was just like, wow, that one was really beautiful um, and fun too, the way it like exploded into sad dance music. <laughs> Set You Free, I loved that one because I really like the spacious etherealness of it. Generations Delicate, Lucky was, um, yeah, I loved that one. I loved Lucky, didn't I? That one was like kind of Florency Aurora, of course. And like, uh, I could just picture like um, castles and fantasy kind of dragon land. Fury, I got to love. Um, and Impossible Emotion, probably my least favorite, but it was it was still cool. It was cool enough. Um, oh, I think that's pretty good to, you know, that, that, that's amazing. I only kind of didn't like one and yeah. Wow, oh, I was such a nice time reacting to this. It felt really, comforting, cool. I just love little moments like this, I really do. Um, and yeah, thank you for requesting it to the Patreon. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I shall see you next time. Bye.